Hello! Day 7 of the Advent Calendar. And I'll be honest, it's now 11.53 in the evening, and I'm only just recording the intro for this uh, story part because uh, I forgot to do one earlier, so you've just got me in front of a green screen. But I tell you what, the story yesterday, things did get interesting, didn't they? Rumble, he, his dad was not happy, so that is interesting in itself. Who knows where this Christmas tale is going to go? It's probably somewhere where he becomes Santa Claus, which is what we were told at the start. But anyway, anyway, it's interesting to see how it pans out. Uh, coming up, there might be a few guest presenters uh, doing the intros for these videos in the coming few weeks, because that might make it a bit more interesting. Anyway, enjoy today's story, and I'll see you tomorrow for door number eight. Bye! Rumble sits quietly on his bed, waiting for his father to make the first move. You can nip off to Conan Picks now, but I want you to promise you'll help out around the house tomorrow. Rumble promises he will, and runs out the door. Pix and Cone have given up on Rumble. Downcast, they sit in the changing rooms. Excuse me, mind if I sit here? Says a voice from behind them. Pix and Cone spin round. Much to their surprise, they see that Rumble has arrived. Where the elf have you been? Rumble is cut short by the sound of a whistle, and the three hurry out of the changing rooms together. After the game, old Santa Claus steps forward to congratulate the four teams on qualifying for the tournament. Ice Cool is one of the four. The crowd is then reminded about the big game on December the 24th. Rumble has been daydreaming that he was up on the pony. He immediately wakes up from his reverie, however, when Wendy skates across the ice holding the tournament cup. I see you're crazy about old Wendy, eh? Hmm? Says Cone teasingly. Rumble doesn't answer him. Instead, he tries to focus on the image of angelic Wendy gliding gracefully across the ice, bathed in the glow from the spotlight.